I've watched enough of those true crime documentaries. I could scatter the remains. I don't like sharing. Take my fry, I'm gonna cut you. I would secretly read girls' romance mangas. Get us in a fight. <laughs> I came here for a fight. Okay. I'm scared. Oh, no, no, get away. No, get off me. Stop. Hey guys, welcome to White's Camera Debate. It's the only show that actively tries to ruin big time Hollywood friendships. We've got Catherine Newton, Cole Sprouse, the stars of Lisa Frankenstein in the house. You guys clearly get along on camera and off. We're gonna try to end that here today. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I'm sick of this friendship. I was on the academic decathlon team. So, uh, where'd you go to high school? You know, you're hyping yourself up a lot. <laughs> it's gonna get ugly. Do you wanna do an opening handshake, fist bump, anything? I think I'm just gonna start by unfollowing him wow. on Instagram. Look at that. <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> Look at that. First topic, teen movie cliches. The jock nerd trope. Do we believe in that? Is that something that happens in real life? I was a jock and a nerd. I was a jock in the sense I played golf, which made me a nerd. Okay, no, much that does not make you a jock. Yes, it okay, does. Well, I was no, the one no, with no, the no. I know you jacket. would like to fancy yourself a, a jock, right but exactly. golfers I would not debate? include inside oh, of that. Who had the Letterman varsity jacket freshman year, huh? I was homeschooled. So. Who was the football player's problem? Me. You see that? They didn't have this freshman year. I did. I won. We Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we even touched the topic at all. I Who's the romantic, who's the cynic here? I'd say you're the cynic for sure. <laughs> That's rude. No, it's not. I don't know, I was gonna say, I think I'm romantic, but I'm realistic, and you're pretty realistic, but I know you're romantic. Isn't all romance a bit cynical? So, there you go, guys. You and I are agreeing a lot. That's okay. Yeah, you well, need to make us have a problem here. We cannot be friends. I don't want to be friends. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> don't include me in this. Pro or against animated crushes? Well, yeah. That's cool. I'm so pro. Oh, yeah. I'm so pro. We're agreeing again. No, Who I mean, your I, first animated crush? Uh, so when I was super young, I would read um, manga and I would do it secretly because this is back when manga wasn't cool. Why were you doing it secretly? Because it was girls romance mangas and I was reading one called Love Hina. Those were some of my first crushes. <laughs> Did you have a first animated crush? Um, this is embarrassing. I thought I th was supposed to think like Johnny Bravo was cool. Johnny Bravo it is was, cool. Yeah, I know. But I just <laughs> Hold wanted on. to preface it that way in case. I was young. I was It's I was aged influenced. a little poorly, but Johnny Bravo is cool. Okay. It's who you are. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> In movies, often prom night is the end all be all. Right. The most romantic night of the year. Was it important in your life? Should it be important in people's lives? Oh man, did I want it to be important? Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was homeschooled, so my prom consisted of my identical twin and I. The dances were awkward. Oh. That's cute. It was not, it was not the move. <laughs> did you rent a limo and just drive around together? Yeah, just, just all around the block. It was like, <laughs> Lame. I have never forgotten prom though, so I guess it is very important. But I didn't have like a romantic prom. Maybe I thought it was gonna be romantic and it was just friends, which is fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're saying. So you wanna talk about it a little yeah, more? Yeah, maybe. Can we get the couch out? Do you wanna lie down? <laughs> I was mad. I was mad about it. I wanted, you know, like I always thought I'd be prom queen. No chance. No, you had the golf championship in the bag, but prom <laughs> felt pretty far away from you. <laughs> they were like, ew, no way. Disqualified, sorry. <laughs> We love a good makeover mm. in rom-coms. There's a makeover in mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. in Lisa Frankenstein, of course. Mm -hmm. I love those tropes, the glow I like up. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't really like get better. <laughs> wow. No, I don't. But you know what makes me really mad in this movie? He yeah. does get more handsome right. as it progresses. Go on. And I just look more crazy. We'd be in the hair and makeup trailer and like, it's the only movie I've ever done where the guy has more hours in the chair than me. Wow. He had like five or six or mm -hmm. seven at the very beginning, and then it got less and less, but then he just started to look all Edward Cullen on me. And I was like. <laughs> I got that sparkly skin. Yeah. yeah. Makeovers, I often think of the glasses trope. So the nerd wears the glasses, and then they're he not takes a trap. off and he's beautiful. Exactly. Take right. them off. What do we think? Is that I'll a real take thing? Take them off. We'll take find out right well, now. Well, I was gonna. <laughs> hey, take them off. <laughs> <laughs> Not on me again. Let's, let's try. Did you know that we were gonna gang up on you in this interview? I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh my God. You got Whoa, more attractive. Like Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Hold on a minute. <gasps> <gasps> got hot in here, huh? Sorry. <laughs> I was just so busy reading. <laughs> he reads books. Yeah, it's impressive. So busy Books reading. are hot. Yeah. 
Catherine, do you want to give it a try, the glasses? Try to be unattractive, revolting in glasses for us. Oh, well, good job. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> wow. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ready for prom. <laughs> Who'd fare better in a musical? Oh, definitely Catherine. Sure. There's something about the spontaneous eruption into song and dance really which sends off. absolute shivers down my spine. <laughs> right. Now for a paycheck, <laughs> I'll suck it up. Amazing how that changes everything. But yeah, <laughs> doesn't come easy to me. I feel like it comes really easy to you. I don't know if it comes easy to me, but I would love to do a musical. So who don't I want to invite to my karaoke party among the two of mm. you? He has a great karaoke I party. love karaoke. Okay. And he's really good at I it. I love karaoke. Yeah. But it's not spontaneous. Right. You've See? been practicing for weeks. <laughs> I've been sitting there just doing my research. I'm actually really bad at karaoke. Oh. No, yeah. you killed it. You see how his pitch was high when oh. he said that? You know what they say about... Now you killed it! Who has more of a goth emo underlying vibe? I had a full-on phase. Crimped my hair a little bit. You did? Side bangs. I was a Hot Topic kid. All the screamo bands, dude. Hawthorne Heights. I loved it. Painted my nails black. I was in. Bring it back. No, because, you know, it goes from e-boy to, like, just sad man. <laughs> and I don't think that works. Right. He's a happy man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm, just, I'm so bubbly. Um, Show up the Jack Skelly thing, uh, tattoo you on your back. You got it somewhere. Yeah, I know. I just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> full back tattoo? <laughs> Sorry, Can't guys. contain himself. I'm doing chest presses for the first time in my life. No more emo boy. He's working out. I'm a jock and an e-boy now. Wow. <laughs> I think I know the answer to this, but better photographer. Better selfie taker. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, what really matters? Right, that's true art. No, no on Instagram, it. actually. You want to hit the algorithm? Just take selfies. He does have some iconic selfies. Isn't your photo like the number one most liked photo? What, my butt cheeks? Yeah. Probably yeah. not number one, but it's definitely it was, my though. number one. Your greatest accomplishment, my arguably. My greatest accomplishment. And then I posted a photo of my foot. Dropped 200,000 followers in, <laughs> I think, eight hours. Was it? it was a new record for me. But you know what? If you can't hang, you can't hang. Right. I also didn't clip my nails for a little bit. Oh. Cool. Shall we uh, do a little photography challenge? You each sure. have a Polaroid camera yes. at your podium. Take your, the best photo of each other humanly possible. Direct them. They are your muse. <laughs> oh, God. Should we take it at the same time? you do time? kind of like a sexy librarian thing, like, like you're sort of leaning on that counter a little bit, and you're like, oh, oops. That's actually great. I like that. Okay, okay. What do you want to say in this photograph? What do you want to present Lust. to the world? <laughs> <laughs> take the shoes off. Okay, shoes off. <laughs> no, don't, don't do it. <laughs> okay. Just giving lust. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. We will evaluate at the end of this Thank you. competition and see who the true victor is. Well done, though, folks. Thank you. I think I won. Just saying. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks. Okay. Let's say I'm burying a body. Okay. Who's going to be better in a pinch? Who do I call upon? I've watched enough of those true crime documentaries to I feel like I could at least get 75% of the way there. You know what I mean? Sure. You could get your poodle to eat the body, though. That would be fine. They, they are <laughs> champs. Do you, think, do you think if you, like, blend it up? Some bod? <laughs> Some bod and threw them in the poodle's Listen, trays? Listen, I sleep with them and I give them hot water bottles to Wait, sleep do you with. sleep with all of them? All three, they each have a hot water bottle that they nuzzle up to and, you know, Are they... Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so, it would have to be like a really, like a vegan person. Like a grass-fed person. What's your co-star's most annoying habit? would you say? He eats my snacks. That's oh. true. I don't like sharing. I'm an only child. Take my fry, I'm gonna cut you. Well, that's a little extreme. <laughs> With Feed my... you to the dogs. <laughs> Sometimes she calls me my full name and I feel like I'm in trouble. I, I do not. You do. Are you serious? Yeah, you do. Sometimes you're like Cole Sprouse and I'm like, <laughs> like my, my child instinct goes like. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather meet someone at a birthday party or a funeral? Depends on how much eyeliner that individual has. Right, right, yeah. If it's a lot, you go for it or a little? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if they have like, like a crow full... perched on their shoulder or something. You walk in. Yeah, like a big old lantern and a shovel. How sure. do you approach this person? Like, how do you do it? Like, you just shake their hand, say, yeah. hi, I'm Cole Sprouts. I go, <laughs> grim tidings, ain't it? <laughs> Cole, can you name all of Catherine's poodles? <laughs> um, 
Uh, you better. Uh, big boy, big bank, <laughs> want to have a good time. Close. Um, he gets that. That's uh, what that. <laughs> You have to understand, these poodles have massive high fantasy they names. They do. They do. Okay, you got one. Big boy, big bank, want to have a good time. <laughs> okay, then there's there's Minnie. Is there Minnie? Yeah, she's the little one. Yeah, yes. she's the little one. Uh, uh, so there's big boy, who's the big one. <laughs> then there's Minnie. I'm starting to get. I'm starting to get the trend here. I'm gonna one say. One more. I'm gonna say the middle one is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Oh my God, he was so close. I like Big Boy Big Bank. <laughs> Want to have a good time? Because his name is Starlight Rosebud. Hello, good boy. Gonna need a big bank. But that's better. Big Boy Big Bank. He's getting renamed. Okay, oh, wow. that's it. And it's not Jeff. Time. It's Jack. Jack. You were Jack. Right. It actually is Jack. And her name isn't Minnie. It's. Dan Ford, Lady Bird, keep the madness rolling. <laughs> yeah, those are easy names to remember. I mean, yeah, yeah thank really you. No excuse. For really putting me on the spot. <laughs> Some Cole trivia for you, All Catherine. Right. Who's older, Cole or Dylan? Yeah, that's not something I'm gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like I want to say you. You're younger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I'm younger. 15 minutes. Yeah. Which is wow. quite long for twins really? and really long for mothers. <laughs> what did you do in there? Do you remember? Developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, more. <laughs> <laughs> took more knowledge yeah. like, from the mother. Power! <laughs> <laughs> this film is written by the great Diablo Cody, yes. writer of Jennifer's Body, Juno. Iconic. Do you want to mm -hmm. give your best shot to an iconic Diablo Cody line and see who okay. fares better? I'm going to eat your soul and shit it out, <laughs> Lesnicky. Oh, that's Jennifer's Body. That ain't no etch sketch This is one doodle that can't be undid, home skillet. <laughs> Have you heard your lime green jelly and you can't even admit it? That's Jennifer's body. Hey, you wanna see your photo? Yeah, I wanna see Yeah, it. here we go. Final challenge. One, Whose two, photo is better? Three. Oh. <laughs> Yours is good. Oh wow. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is actually kind of a hot photo. Yeah, I'm keeping it. Yours is is just very dark. But you have to <laughs> You're floating. You have little hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're not supposed to be friends anymore. Remember, it's over. No. It's over. Oh, it's get over. Away. It's over. Oh, get off me. Stop. Thank you for playing Lights, Camera, Debate. <laughs> the friendship is over. Lisa Frankenstein is the movie. Cole Sprouse, Catherine Newton. Well done. Oof. Scram. Get out of here. Yeah, don't ever talk to me again. Yeah, get out of here, I said. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs>